somewhere in the Alps. So, Agent Gracefully, you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say my name too often. I'm trying to travel incognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly trash can. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash can. You need a hobby. No, not smelly. Smelly! As in the society of meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Of course, our evil nemesis. Spy Fox, you've got to get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. No, I've got a better idea. I'd better get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Oh, and take this gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. Inside of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those bad guys. Good luck, Spy Fox. Guys, got water? I've got to get out of here. Although this would be a nice getaway cottage, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Well, that was certainly action-packed. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get this um, sequence Here's out of the I way. I, I know, Spy Fox. This is an unusual pill. Full of... Shut up. Water. Here we go. Water, work your magic. You could, you probably could have just spat on the thing, to be fair. The dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. Mm-hmm. And you're going to talk a lot, aren't you? Feet, don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. I haven't even done my introduction yet. Anyway, yeah, we're finally doing another Spy Fox game. I said I would do more Youngest Entertainment games, and I really meant it. So here it is. Oh, whoops. I, that was probably not the way I wanted to go. I guess it doesn't matter. I wonder which way I should go. Well, that way. Because, you know what? I don't think it really matters because you're going to escape no matter what you do anyway. Right? That's just how these humongous entertainment children's games work. By the way, I say children's games. Um, I think the uh, old CR games were actually made on a very similar engine to these. Which is why they can run on scum. So Hi. you've analyzed the trash bag, I see. And what have you found? Oh. It's a model box 1-1000 scale for one evil robot. On the side, it says, Some Assembly Required. Sounds like an excellent title for one of my adventures. It has a mailing label that reads, To La Roche, Care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair. Hmm. Interesting. Inside the box are assembly instructions. You'd better take these with you, Spy Fox. Wow, you can learn a lot by reading. Oh, his hands are huge. If Billy is involved, they must be up to their usual no goodness. You'd best go check out this world's fair. Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. Okay. I'm on my way, Chief. Oh, well. Spy Fox, are you okay? Shaken but not stirred, Monkey Penny. <laughs> Cute reference. So it looks like we're on to something big. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. Hooray. You don't... You wouldn't do that with well, a real gun! You and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the smelly trash No, bag. shut up. No, don't teach kids that you can point a gun at your bag. face and you'd be okay. No, Monkey Penny, not smelly. That's smelly, stupid! As in, the Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. 
our evil nemesis. Ugh. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here? Like, I don't Wait, have a problem with guns, but I do have a problem with people not learning, center. like, firearm safety. Gun safety. And remember, you can contact they need to teach that shit in school. God. Don't forget to check out the spy vending machines, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I don't trust any of them. You're stupid enough to point a barrel at your face. Now I need to go get busy and go give that LaRoche up a chateau, LaRoche, a visit and find out just what he's up to. Okay. Well, let's not grab any of these yet because I don't know what I'm going to need. Okay. And let's go. Hello. Are you happy with your job as a service guard? Oh yes, quite happy, thank you. Still, I oh. like to immerse myself in the peaceful harmony of bungee jumping. I like him. <laughs> oh. Well. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings. The bearer. But unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let waitresses with proper ID in today. Waitresses? See, it has the job title of waitress and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Aww. Unfortunately. Oh, well, at least it's polite. I have to find a way to get the proper ID. I've already played this, so I know what to do. So this will go by quickly. It's not like before with the freaking Go Fish game. A free photo booth. Yep. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. Yes, let's use it to get some business photos. Okay, background. I want to change to a waitress. Cat. Waitress. Uh, don't want to change the background. Then. None. Really? That's all we have. France. Arena. None. Dented. Actually, France. Yes, we're a fancy French waitress. Ah, uh, yeah. Perfect. I'll be taking this. That's not really my best son. I don't like this new voice actor. I think it's a new voice actor. Well, let's just go. Yep. We're going. I like the art in the older one, too. Oh, well. Okay. This is a rather cool looking device. What yep. is it? One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? It's an <laughs> ID maker. Of my own creation, of course. Lovely. It's for making identification cards. Thanks. Fascinating. How does it work? You place a photo. That's the same voice the actor who slot. plays that uh, turtle dude in the um any name you Sly like, Cooper. Then press the games. Actually, a lot of the people who worked on Sly Cooper ID also worked on the Spy Fox out of games. The Professor, you're amazing. What, what if I made an ID, but then I changed oh, my mind? Shut and up. I'm probably going to uh, well, mute them while I'm talking like about the, the Sly Cooper created, thing, because it's not hard for you guys to guess what's going on here. The name and occupation. Insert a new photo, then press the process ID button again. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do, and then mm. only when we're on a case. Right. Anyway. With the okay. photo in place, I can now make a new ID card. What kind of name do we Regin want? Maurice. Jockey. Helicopter pilot. Cashier. Journalist. Ballerina. Band leader. Waitress. There we go. Thank you. Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. My identification card is complete. Thank you. Let's just take it. I expect that this will come in quite handy. I'm sure it will. Let's just go. I don't want to suffer through any more of that talking. I mean, uh, we're going to be doing more talking anyway. Let's just flash him some ID. Hello. Here you are, sir. One waitress ID card. Oh my, I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let Thank you. Guess. It was in your other pants, wasn't it? Yes. Why? Yes, it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. 
Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Maurice. Keep up the good work. Have Maurice. a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow... Oh, he's so nice. I love him. Hello. Are there any great culinary moments in Grand Opera? Yes, in Hansen and Gretel, when they cook the witch. It was dreadful. Would you have preferred a different ending? No, I would have used the bay leaf and a lot more pepper. Huh. Let's go see what's going on. Hello, are you LaRoche? Ah, Napoleon LaRoche. La I La should have known you'd taken up with the likes of smell. Mm -hmm. Your spy has sent the famous spy fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Er, uh, of course. Ah, since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in oh, nauseating detail. I thought we were trying you to see, skip talking. I the scale of the smelly evil dog bot assembly instructions. I created a 1000 to 1 scale fully functioning evil dog bot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. You're standing in it. Of course, you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the world's fair. Uh. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe the means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the world's fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstile, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within the evil dog bot. Hmm. When the one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction! I say so. <laughs> Effective. <laughs> oh, once I have unleashed the dog bot, all the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy! It so, wait, it did he just, like, seal no that fire? Things. I mean, I guess it could put it out. Yes, but... I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair. So oh, great. cleverly, so subtly, that you will never find it! That's what you think, LaRoche. Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel, which is the only way into the dog bot's inner workings. It is oh, hopeless, wow. Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> oh, yeah, there is. You'll never get away with this, LaRoche. Oh, I think I will. And now, Monsieur Le Spy Fox, I do. Oh, well, goodbye. Judging well. by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How humiliating. The uh, uvula is... I must delightful. find a way out of this cell so I can stop that evil roach. <laughs> if I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. Hmm. This thing's not put together very well. I can gather information about La Roach with this talk balloon. I'm sure you can. La Roach's goons didn't follow the assembly instructions close enough. They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. Hmm. I wonder where this gear goes. This this gear is too small. This this gear is too big to go there. This gear must go somewhere in here. There you go. What about this one? Is that right? That did the trick. Cool. Well, Let's go. I guess it's like they said. The tooth shall set you free. It's like what they said. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm not going to be talking very much for this particular series. Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop LaRoche and his evil plans for world domination. Y yep. My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dottie Dash. Where's it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is staticky, and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. You can pick him up here at the Mobile Command Center. By the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans, and I'm sending them to you via the Spy Watch. I look forward to hearing the dish. Monkey Penny, out. Cool. Well, how do we get out of here? 
think there's an exit around here somewhere. Hi! Did you know that Renovus is souvenirs spelled backwards? Well, that's about as valuable as a moldy 1974 cottage cheese souvenir. Wow, do you really think so? Well, let's get out of here. Hold up there, sir. You have a stamp on your hand? No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hand so you can get back into the fair. Oh, thank you. There you oh. are, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Well, let's get out of here. I think I saw a bee in the background. Let's go talk to Monkey Penny and get Walter Wireless. He's a little flea tick dude. Hey, Walter. My pots. I've been waiting for you. Smelly is up to their usual bag of dirty tricks, I see. Walter Wireless, Spy Corps' top tracking bug. Good to be working with you again, Walt. Uh, you too, Spy Fox. The last time I ended up with a fever from being cat scratched. Right. Yes. Sorry about that. So, you picked up a microfish message from Dottie Dash. That's right, but all I could make out was something regarding an off switch activation code before the signal went dead. I've got to find Dottie Dash, Spy Fox. This must be important. It the is. The signal was traced to an exhibit in the fair called Wee World. Wee World, eh? Sounds like your kind of place. Well, hop aboard, Walter, and I'll get you into this wee world. I'm in there like swimwear. Heck, <laughs> that's my line. Is it? Well, let's get out of here. I said, let's get out of here. Everything's so slow. Get in. Coming in through the exit line. <laughs> Alright, I guess it's smart if, um... You know, you're trying to avoid winding the thing. Wee world! You must be the guard who defends this place. That's classified information, lady. How did it? you find that out? You're dressed as a guard and you're defensive. What's this? Those keys are to all the exhibits at the fair. No one can touch them but me. Of course, I wouldn't think of touching those. How do I get them away from there? The door is locked. You have anything to say about that? Okay, Walter. That's not going to do me any good. If you say so. Well, let's get out of here for now. I'm sure I need to find something to distract him with. Or something. And actually, let's go see what B has to say. Hi, B. Would you say you specialized in Swedish or sports massage? I went to the old man that hurts school of massage. Oh man the hurts? Why do they call it that? Because of this. Oh man, that hurts. That's the best kind of massage though. Oh, it gets all that tension out. After that, you should feel like a whole new person. I feel like mashed potatoes. What can you tell me about that trophy? You don't want to hear about that. Yes, I do. Well, all right. If you... It was back in my younger days as the masked Chiver. I used to cut up the ice as a famous ice skater. Is there anything else that you'd like to add about that trophy? I'd like to add some real gold. <laughs> That's funny. It's gold-plated? Or is it just painted that way? Is it like, I don't know, polished brass? I have no idea. Hi. You seem a little bitter. The kids today have no memory of the great skaters. Remember Peggy Hamill and her camel belly lux? No, no, I don't. Neither do I. It says 1974 Golden Melon Skates Trophy. Golden Melon Skates? Well, I don't think there's anything I can do here right now, so we'll get out of here and check out some of the other locations. Like this. Can't remember what this... Oh, this is a wax museum. Hello. Wouldn't you like to take a walk to stretch your legs? Yeah, but I have to stay here to keep an eye on the thermometer. If it goes over 80 degrees, I have to go phone the air conditioning repair guy. 80 degrees, hmm? Hmm. It says 80 degrees. Thanks. Hey, you! You cannot go in! The Wax Museum is not open yet! Would oh. you believe me if I told you that I had my own television show on public access called Entering the Wax Museum? Yes, but you may not go in. And don't stand in front of that thermometer. I have to keep a close eye on it. Oh, well, thanks. I'm trying to do something here, but I have to... Oh, 
Oh, okay, I thought I could go when he was looking away, but apparently not. Okay, let's head back into the uh, rest of the fair then, see what there is to see. And once we've figured out what's here, then I guess we can call it. Hi there. Is this Plat World? Correct, my dear. I am Madam Ladybug, the slightly irritated owner of Plant World. Instead of the beauteous red rose I ordered, I have been sent a mutant Venus flytrap by Napoleon LaRoche. That nice sucks. cage, though. A locked cage for which I have no combination. Hmm. On top of it all, this particular Venus flytrap has something in its mouth. Interesting. It's the off switch. How diabolical of a roach to feed it to a mutant Venus flytrap. I've got to get it out of there and find a rose for the ladybug. No small feat. Well, except now we know where the roses are. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about getting a rose for Madam Ladybug. Cool. Thanks. Let's leave. Okay, cool. What else is over here? I see the bridge. Don't worry. I think that just leads straight to... Uh, I better answer oh. my spy watch. Please Fine. Stand by. Spy thought. An informant has a hot tip about the off switch and is waiting for you at the Food of the Future exhibit. Ask oh. for the candy apple. The candy apple. Got it. Thanks. Monkey Penny signing off. Spy box that. out. Where's Food of the Future? Is this it? Food of the Future? Hi. So that's my contact, eh? Brilliant disguise. I'd like a candied apple, please. Certainly, sir. Here at Food of the Future, all food is on sticks. It allows you to enjoy your favorite foods without using a knife or fork or having to stop what you're doing. Uh. Here you go, a free candied apple on a stick sample. Oh, thank you. Well, I have the candied apple. Isn't that just grand? I guess. Yes, but I, meaning me, have in my possession the candied apple. Only one candied apple sample per customer. Now run along and enjoy the fair, Pumpkin. Maybe yeah. she wants me to come back when there are less people around. Oh well, this candied apple looks good. Watch what you're doing! You want to give me a coronary? Ah, Lenny! You're oh. the apple of my eye. What information do you have for me? Hi, Spy Fox. Listen close. There are spies everywhere, so don't look directly at me. This leaf contains the information that you need. Thanks. This is too small to read. What do you want from me? I wrote it with my teeth. Now I've got to split. People are starting to stare. No, they aren't. In the dumpster. Suit yourself. Oh! I'm well, all right. Save yourself. Ugh, paranoid. Well, whatever. We have the leaf with the stuff on it. I'm sure Walter could probably read it. But let's check out this and see what's in here. Once we figure out what all is here, then, you know, uh, we can figure out what to do. Hi. Welcome to... You clone it, where well, you, you get, get two, 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 for the, the price, price of one. Bah. Stereo sheep. I'm Doll, and I'm Lee. Hello, Dollar. So nice to have you back where you belong. Huh, except they aren't actually stereo, because my headset supports stereo, and... Whatever. Let's get out of here. What else is there to see? This sad looking guy. The amazing Cape Cod. Something seems fishy. Cod, bear your soul. Oh, I'm sadder than an ant in the neck brace at a picnic. In the old days, it never failed. The Cape Cod would razzle and dazzle with his mighty cape of joy, and then Woody. the finale. A shot out of the cannon. Sounds exciting. Then. One fateful day, we were at a sea monkey convention and my assistants Goldie and Blow were setting up my act. My lucky clear goggles were misplaced, and in their stead was a pair of dark goggles. So what you're saying is that you need your lucky clear goggles? You ever try to steer yourself with dark goggles after you've been shot out of a cannon, son? Not uh. lightly, no. Well, it's impossible to see the target. Well, that's good to know. He's probably depressed because he suffered a concussion. Okay. Let's see what there's to see. What's this? It looks like a pair of binoculars. It's a lot of birds all of a sudden. Oh. Hmm. 
Whatever that thing is, it's letting that bad guy type with the glasses on into the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. It looks like some kind of breath analyzer. There's too much of a rose tint on that screen to make out what breath it's showing. Hmm. So we need to get something with a rose tint, uh, with rose tint glasses, I guess. Okay, and I think there's just one last location, and that is where the actual dog bot's Achilles heel is. So we'll just try to quickly make our way over there. Okay. Yep, it's over here. Convenient. Hmm. That bad guy put on those glasses, breathed on that breath device, and the secret door opened. That yep. must be the secret door LaRoche mentioned that leads to the inner workings of the evil dog bot. Yep. I need to figure out how to get in there. Let's grab those glasses. These rose-tinted glasses might come in handy. Does it actually show what your breath needs to smell like? Like right here? Can I select this, please? Thank you. That won't do me any good. Oh, well, if you say so. Well, I'm going to call it there. <laughs> I've been playing for about 25 minutes, and he's been doing all the talking, so I'm actually, I can actually feel my voice cooling down. Anyway, if you guys like this, let me know by pressing the like button. I'm probably going to try to knock this out quickly so that I can get on to the other games that I've been playing, like The Cave, and hopefully my controller will show up in the mail soon, and I'll be able to play Dark Cloud again. I'm probably going to play more Miss Kitty when the storm and rain and humidity finally passes because Miss Kitty is also kind of an excuse for me to put on makeup. <laughs> and it's just too hot to wear makeup today, so, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm on my fourth episode today and it's just, it's an oven in here. Just because I need to seal off this room for the rest of the house to get keep noise to a minimum. Uh, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> If you guys want to keep in touch with me outside of YouTube, you can do that through the links in the description below. And if you want to see more of my nonsense, if you'd like to see more of the Spy Fox stuff, then go ahead and subscribe to me, and you'll get notifications. And it'll be awesome, and we can have this big party where we play video games together, which is pretty much what I've been doing since January. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next episode. Bye! Love you!